Welcome to this episode of Door Hardware Nerds. I'm your host, Mia Merrill. Today, I'm joined by Katie Flower. Katie, please introduce yourself and tell us about your role here. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Katie Flower, as Mia said, and I am a training specialist with Asa Abloy Academy. I am the developer of the Asa Abloy egress calculator and also the uh, star of Code Corner with Katie that's on YouTube as part of the Door Hardware Nerds Network. Yeah, Katie's our code guru. So speaking of codes, uh, code guru and the egress calculator, you recently made an upgrade, uh, an update to the egress calculator with the IBC 2021 version. So how long does it take you to make an update like that? Well, I have all of the egress calculators from 2006 up to 2018 in individual Excel spreadsheets. So I just copy the most recent 2018 into a brand new spreadsheet. And then I just modify anything that's different in that spreadsheet. So basically four hours, but then I had to give it to the developers and then they had to do their thing on the website. And that took about a month, um, primarily because we had to go back and forth with IT, make sure security and everything was all perfect and, and good to go. So it took about a month to get it launched. All right. So how can somebody tell in the egress calculator if there is a new requirement from the 2021 version? So there's individual drop downs for you can still choose the 2006 edition in some states it's still an active code just because a brand new code comes out doesn't mean it's automatically in your state, it needs to be adopted by your local or state government. And if you use the 2021 drop down, and let's say you're in the assembly egress calculator portion of the 2021, once you do your calculations at the bottom, there will be a list of all of your different code references that will direct you where in 2021 that you can go look up the requirements for delayed egress hardware or access controlled egress or whatever. If there is something new in this edition, there will be two asterisks and it says it right at the very top so that it points it out. If there's something new, that is where it flags it for you. Oh, perfect. So it's very clear. Yes. All right. Um, besides adding the new IBC 2021, what did you make any other enhancements to the calculator? Yes, first of all, on the main page, there's now a link to Code Corner with Katie so that people can very easily find it. The, uh, the one on where our exit device is required is linked on the main page. But if you go to the menu, you can go to the YouTube channel for Door Hardware Nerds and then Code Corner with Katie from there. So you can find it in two different places on the calculator. Another enhancement, I went back to the 2015 edition of IBC, also the 2018 plus the 2021, and under the assembly calculator uh, drop down, I added training rooms. Instead of making you go to the educational tab to calculate the occupant load for a training room, it's now both under educational as well as assembly, because oftentimes those are an assembly if you have more than 50 people and it's a training room. So I figured why not, even though the table in the IBC does not list training rooms specifically, it's very similar to how a classroom is used and it's calculated at 20 square foot per person. Okay. Uh, we're going to be starting up our virtual instructor led trainings, or sometimes we call them built trainings again. Uh, are we going to be offering egress calculator classes? Absolutely. We'll be starting those again in February. They will be monthly. So just check Osabloy Academy, the virtual instructor led training page, and it will list all of the different classes. But calculating occupant load and egress width is the name of the class that talks about and how to use the egress calculator. Okay. And what other classes are upcoming that people can register for? We have monthly themes, and so as a team, we meet, and it may be doors and, and frames in one particular month, so we'll figure out which courses 
best meet that theme and then make those one month at a time. So we've had some on Windstorm, we've had some on Deco hardware, we've had others um, on codes. So it just depends on what that monthly theme is. You can always check the virtual instructor led training tab on the Academy site to find out what the uh, upcoming classes are. All right, perfect. So for more information about the egress calculator, you can visit egresscalc.asaabloy.com and I will put a link below. I will also include a link for the Asa Abloy Academy where you can find out about the virtual instructor led trainings and get yourself registered. Thank you, Katie, for joining me today. Thank you for um, having me. Yeah, it's, I'm glad to be able to talk to you and not just watch your code videos, although uh, I do love them and I, our audience loves them. So uh, they are great for the channel. Thank you. Um, make sure you like this video, hit subscribe to our channel to stay updated when our new videos come out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And thanks for watching.